Hey everyone, today we're going to do an activity with active and passive voice focusing on space. The theme is space. So what we're going to do is we're going to read some sentences, we're going to identify subjects, identify verbs, see if the subject is doing the verb or receiving the action, and then we are going to classify sentences as being either active or passive voice. So follow along and you guys are working in your activity while watching this video. Here we go. Here we have our activity active and passive voice practice themed on NASA and space as we prepare for our unit on science fiction. At the top of the activity, you'll notice there's a link that you can copy and paste into any search engine to view a picto chart for support. There's also a QR code you can use to access that same picto chart. Our learning target for today is I will classify or sort sentences into categories of active or passive voice. Let's take a look at an example of active versus passive quickly. Active voice is when the subject of the sentence is doing the action. For example, Arthur C. Clarke wrote many science fiction novels. Here, the subject is Arthur and the verb is wrote. He's doing the writing, so it is in the active voice. I could take that same sentence and rearrange it to create a passive voice sentence. Passive voice is when the subject of the sentence is receiving the action. Passive voice sentences always have helping verbs with the main verb. Here's an example. Many science fiction novels were written by Arthur C. Clarke. Here we have a helping verb, were, our main verb, written, and our subject, the science fiction novels, are receiving the action. The action is being done to them by Arthur C. Clarke. Often, not always, but often we will see by and then a doer at the end of a passive voice sentence. This helps us to understand that the subject is receiving the action. So today we're going to classify sentences as active or passive voice. So step one is to find the subject, step two is to find the verb, and step three is to ask yourself, is the subject doing active, the action, or receiving passive, the action? Part one directions, classify the following sentences as active or passive voice. I have the subjects identified in red for you and the verbs identified in blue. So number one, NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Here, the subject is NASA and the verb is stands. If we were to draw an arrow from the, ver the subject to the verb, we'll see that NASA is doing the action, they're standing. So this is going to be an active voice sentence, active. Number two, the term aeronautics was created by the French, deriving from the Greek words for air and to sail. Here we can see a couple things. We have a helping verb, was, and a main verb, created. The term isn't creating something, it's being created by the French. Here we have the doer. So notice we have two verbs working together as one, and the subject is receiving the action. This is an example of a passive voice sentence. Passive. Number three. The Aldous II unmanned robot plane can circle for up to 24 hours over wildfires, beaming images and data back to computers via satellite. So here we have a helping verb and a main verb. But just because something has a helping verb and a main verb doesn't automatically make it passive voice. It's just that passive voice always has a helping verb and main verb. We really have to ask ourselves, is the subject doing the action or receiving the action? So here, the Aldous II robot plane is going to be circling, is going to be doing the action. So this is a tricky one because it has that helping main verb combo, but this is an example of an active voice sentence. Number four. On August 25th, 1932, Amelia Earhart set three records for women flyers. The first nonstop US crossing, the longest distance record, and a coast to coast record time. 
Here, our subject is Amelia Earhart, and our verb is set. We only have one verb here, so it cannot be passive voice because passive voice always has a subject-verb combo. Here, the subject, Amelia Earhart, is doing the record setting. She's doing the action. So this is an example of an active voice sentence. Next, number five, pilotless airplane technology has been developed by NASA's Environmental Research Aircraft and Sensor Technology Program, known as AIRAST. Let's take a look, lots of things happening. We have helping verb, helping verb, main verb. We have a verb phrase here, a combination. We see that keyword by NASA. This is our doer. Here, the airplane technology isn't developing anything. It's being developed. It's receiving the action by NASA. So this, since we have a combination of verbs, we have a doer at the end, and the subject is receiving the action, this is an example of a passive voice sentence. Next up, on March 16, 1926, Dr. Robert H. Goddard successfully launched the first liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn, Massachusetts. Here, our subject is Dr. Robert Goddard. Our verb is launched. Notice we only have one verb, a main verb. So since we don't have a helping verb, it cannot be passive voice. But anyway, Dr. Robert Goddard is the one that is launching the first liquid fueled rocket. So since he's doing the action, this is active voice. Number seven, on January 31st, 1958, Explorer 1 was launched into space by the United States. All right, we have a helping verb, a main verb, so it could be passive. We have by the United States. The United States here is the doer. So here, the Explorer 1 was launched. It is receiving the action by the United States. This is an example of passive voice. Number eight, NASA became operational on October 1st, 1958, one year after the Soviet's launch of Sputnik. Here we have our subject is NASA. Our verb is became. Notice we only have one main verb. There's no other verb here. NASA is the one that became operational, doing the action. This is an example of the active voice. Number nine, the United States, the United Nations declared October 4th through 10th as World Space Week. So we're actually in World Space Week right now, which is exciting and very appropriate for our science fiction unit. So let's take a look. United Nations is our subject, declared is our main verb. Notice we have no other verb working with it, so it cannot be passive voice. The United Nations is declaring, they're doing the action. This is an active voice sentence. And our last one, number 10, a satellite is a body that orbits around another body in space. Our subject is a satellite. Our verb is going to be is. Notice we only have one verb here. There's no verb combo, so this cannot be passive voice. And here, the satellite is in the state of being. So since we have no combination of a helping verb and main verb, and our subject is doing the action, this is an example of an active voice sentence. So let's review part one and make sure you have the right answers. Number one is active voice, two is passive voice, three is active, four is active, five is passive, six is active, seven is passive voice, eight is active, nine is active, and 10 is active. Part two, circle the subject in red and circle the verbs in blue. Then draw an arrow that shows the direction of the action, either the subject to the verb for active voice or the verb to the subject for passive voice. So remember, active voice is the subject is doing the action, we'll be drawing those arrows forward, and passive voice is the subject receiving the action, we'll be drawing those arrows backwards from the verb to the subject. When we're identifying subjects, it's gonna be the thing that the sentence is about. It's the first noun that's in your um, sentence. So let's take a look at number 11 together. 
Satellites communicate by using radio waves to send signals to the antennas on Earth. Starting by identifying our subject in red. Satellites, that's our first noun. That is what the sentence is about. This is our subject. Next, we're looking for the verb, the action word, communicate. So now we're asking ourselves, is the subject doing the action or receiving it? Is the satellite doing the communicating? Here, the answer is yes, it is doing the action. So we're gonna draw our arrow forward. And we can even um, label this here our verb. Okay, so if we were to identify active or passive voice here, we would say that this one is active because the subject is doing the verb. All right, let's take a look whoop, at number 12. Some satellites are made by man to perform different functions in space. Okay, let's start by looking for our subject, the thing the sentence is about. Satellites. Okay, same subject here. Now we're looking for a verb. They are made. Here we have a helping verb and a main verb. Two verbs working together. Now look, we also have this keyword in here, by man. This is our doer. So here, we're going to actually be drawing our arrow backwards. Satellites are made by man. They're being made by our doer over here. So the subject is receiving the action. The subject is receiving the action. So if I were to identify this as active or passive, this would be an example of a passive voice sentence. Passive voice sentence for number 12. And again, you're color coding. So we're circling our subjects in red and our verbs in blue. All right, number 13. The earth and the moon are natural satellites. Okay, let's start with our subject. The earth and the moon. Here we have two subjects. So we're going to label those here. Now we're looking for our verb. Here we have what's called a linking verb. It's not an action, but it's a state of being. Oops, I made that green. You want to make that blue. So this is our verb. So now we're asking ourselves, is the subject in that state of being? Are they natural satellites? Well, yes, of course. So here, notice that we do not have two verbs working together. We only have our one main verb, and it's R. So this is going to be an active voice sentence because our arrow is going forward, and we only have one verb. Okay, let's take a look at 14. Radio waves range in length from very big, like the size of a tall building, to small, like the size of a coin. All right, looking for our subject, and we are circling that in red. Radio waves. Next up, we're looking for our verb, range. They range. Are the radio waves doing the range? Are they ranging? Yes. Our arrow is going to be going forward. This is another example of an active voice sentence. Notice that we only have one verb here, and we know that passive voice has to have two verbs or more working together. All right, let's take a look at the next one, number 15. High power transmitters are used by NASA to complete operations in deep space. Okay, starting with our subject, high power transmitters. We're going to label that S in red. Now we're looking for our verb, R, helping verb, used, main verb. We have two verbs working together as one here. Also, look at this, by NASA, this is a doer. So here we have two verbs working together. We have a doer after those verbs. So high power transmitters, are they using something or are they being used? They're being used. They're receiving the action here. So we're going to draw our arrow backwards from the verb to the subject. This is an example of passive voice. 16. NASA was created by President Dwight Eisenhower in 1958. Starting with our subject. Our subject here is NASA. Label it. Now we're looking for our verbs. Was created. Here we have a helping verb and a main verb. 
This indicates that this could be passive voice, so we have to keep looking. Okay, we have by President Dwight Eisenhower. This here is our doer. So we have a doer after the verbs. We have that keyword by. Here, NASA is not creating anything. It's being created. So we're going to draw our arrow backwards from our verb to our subject. So since the arrow is going backwards, this is an example of a passive voice sentence. 17. On July 20th, 1969, the first man walked on the moon as part of the Apollo 11 mission. First thing we're going to do is look for our subject. Um, this here you can just kind of cross out. Um, that's talking about time. So we're looking for the first noun, remember. The first man. Man is our subject here. Now we're looking for our verb, walked. This is just one verb here. We don't have a double verb combo. So now we're looking, okay, is the man doing the walking? Yes, our arrow is going to be going forward. Our subject is doing the verb, so this is going to be an active voice sentence, active. All right, 18, the Apollo 13 lunar landing was aborted after an oxygen tank exploded. Whoa, okay, let's take a look at our subject, first noun. Apollo 13 lunar landing. This whole thing is our subject. Okay, now we're looking for the verb was aborted. Here we have a helping verb and a main verb. So we have a helping verb and a main verb. That mean it might be passive voice. So we have to ask ourselves, is P Apollo 13 the lunar landing? Are they aborting things or are they being aborted? Well, here, they're being aborted, so they are receiving the action. So since our arrow is going backwards, this is an example of a passive voice sentence. Number 19, Space Shuttle Endeavor was built using spare parts from Discovery and Atlantis. All right, let's take a look at our subject here. Endeavor, or we could even put the space shuttle endeavor. Either one is fine. That's our subject. Now we're looking for our verb, was built. We have a combo. This is our helping verb and our main verb. So now we're asking ourselves, is the space shuttle building something or is it being built? Well, here it's being built. It's receiving the action. Our arrow will go backwards. Since it's going backwards, this is a passive voice sentence. All right, next up. Neil Armstrong was one week late submitting his application to NASA. That's an interesting fact. Let's take a look at our subject, Neil Armstrong. Now we're looking for our verb, was. Now we're going to ask ourselves, is he the one that was late? Yes, so we're gonna draw our arrow forward. Since our arrow is going forward, this is a, oh, sorry active voice sentence active the subject is doing the action all right next up bill nye the science guy applied repeatedly to be an astronaut but nasa has continually rejected his application oh well, that's sad okay let's look for our subject bill nye the science guy subject now we're looking for our verb applied we have one verb here there's no helper so that means it has to be active but let's double check the Bill Nye the science guy is he the one applying yes he's the one that's applying okay great our arrows going forward so since it's going forward this is active voice okay we're doing great we're almost there 22 in 2006 NASA admitted they had taped over the original moon landing videos and they are no longer available. Ooh, sketchy. What do you think's on those secret tapes? Okay, let's look for our subject, NASA. Now we're looking for our verb, admitted. So we only have one verb here. There's no helper going along with it. We're asking ourselves, is the subject doing the verb? Is NASA the one admitting something? Yes, so since our subject is doing the verb and our arrow is forward, this is an active voice sentence. All right, next up, 23, Apollo 12 was struck by lightning, but the NASA flight controller, John Aaron, saved it. Cool. All right, 
Now we're looking for our subject, Apollo 12. And we're looking for our verb, was struck. Here we have a helping verb and a main verb. Oh, look at this. We have a key word, by lightning. This is a doer. So since Apollo 12 is receiving being struck by lightning, and we have by lightning, this is going to have our arrow backwards. This is a passive voice sentence. Passive voice. All right, two more, 24. NASA has a program for dealing with life on other planets. Looking for our subject, NASA. Looking for our verb, has. We only have one verb here, so we know it cannot be passive voice because passive voice has to have two or more verbs working together. So here, is NASA the one that has a program? Yes, our verb is being done by the subject. So here we're drawing our arrow forward and this is an active voice sentence. All right, last one. Three Yemen men sued NASA for trespassing on Mars by claiming they had inherited the planet thousands of years ago from their ancestors. Well, that's crazy. Okay, let's start with our subject. Three Yemen men, or you could just put men or Yemen men. Subject looking for our verb sued okay are these men suing are they doing the action yes our arrow is going to be going forward and this is active voice active voice okay so hopefully this was helpful here remember when we're looking for passive voice we're looking for multiple verbs working together but just because we have multiple verbs working together doesn't mean it's automatically passive voice we have to look at which direction the um verb is is being used so is the subject doing the action and we're drawing that um uh, action forward with our forward arrow or is it receiving the action and we have the arrow coming back from the verb to the subject so hopefully this color coding helps um, and at the very end here you're going to turn it in mark is complete and this last piece here congratulations on earning your mastery badge um, if you click that it will take you over to the drive and you can download your master of active and passive voice badge. So I'm gonna start having badges for different skills. So if you start downloading them, um, there will be a place where you can collect them all and then you can upload them for battle points for your class period. Okay, thanks for practicing and nice work. Turn it in.